Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I've been asked for a while to do a, a deeper dive into how I use the Simplify 3D to uh, create my G-codes. And what I want to show you here is some tricks I've learned. Now, if you've used Simplify, you probably know how all this works, but I want to show you a couple of cool things that I really love about this program. Everybody knows that 3D printing can be slow. And the quicker we can do it and still get a good result, the better we are. Okay, so let's think about this for a minute. If I was wanting to print this as fast as I could but get the best quality, I would print these a little bit more detailed. I'd print this maybe a little bit less detail, and then right here doesn't have to be much because the acetone vapor bath, once I kind of melt all this together, smooths out. But let's say I really want the bottom to be detailed. So first I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna pick how thick I want this um, as far as width. And something this big, I probably would want to do the six millimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit copy, I mean control copy, and then control uh, V for paste, and you see it popped up down here. Now I'm going to do it again, control um, C, control V. So now I've got two processes down here. So what I'm going to do is go into this process, go over to advance, I'm going to hit start printing at zero. I'm going to hit stop printing at, let's say, I think, about 15 millimeters would be the middle of this. But no, let's say I only want to do the bottom. So let's say um, five millimeters. And we, and we can change this if, if we need to adjust it. Going to hit OK. Going to come down to this process. Come over here. Hit start at five. And I'm going to end it at, let's say, uh, 50, because I know the thing's at least 50 millimeters tall. Hit OK. And then I highlight both of these processes over here on the left. Hit prepare to print. And if you zoom in here, you'll notice that these first ones here, uh, I must have done it too low. Or, oh, 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 oh. Okay, pilot error. I forgot to change my layer height uh, thicknesses. So on this one, I want the bottom to be real detailed, so it's going to be 0.2. And this is going to be 0.2. I always put 0.2 up there so I have a reference. Okay, and then my next layers, I'm going to just make them, I'm going to leave them 0.35. So now when I highlight both of these, hit print, you can see clearly here, these are a much more finer print, and this is much faster print. So that's how you can really, really get... Um, Simplify 3D to do some really cool things for you. It's also really great when I do the front of the engine crankcase where I have those bolts that I 3D print. Um, you know, I could print all the way up to the very top of it uh, with thicker lines or thicker layers, I'm sorry, and then get very detailed as I get to the top. So if I wanted to break this into three processes, I would just go into here, hit Control C, Control V. And now keep in mind, I have a six millimeter wide. I can normally go up to 80% of that six millimeters um, for my height. But I, I don't like to ever get quite that thick. So I'm just going to take this up to, uh, uh, let's just say, four, two, oh, oh. oh. And I'm going to mark that up here in the top. So I always know I can look down and see what my uh, thickness is. Oh, got to come over here, though going to tell this layer to start at let's say 15 which means I got to go back into this one come over here tell it to start at 5 and stop at 15 okay and then I highlight all three processes whoops wrong button moving a little bit fast there aren't I and then I hit print and you can see I have thin layers thicker layers, and then really thick layers. So this is something that Simplify 3D does that's really neat. Now you'll notice I accidentally left 
turned on in these layers <clears throat> some supports so I can turn those supports off turn that support off there and turn it off on that layer <clears throat> and remember highlight all three layers so you can uh, I mean all three processes and that's how you do that okay now what's interesting is let's take this down so there you can see the really thin layers that are building up then it gets to the thicker layers and then the thicker layers and hang on let me zoom in even more so you can see that so you start off with the really thin layers the point two then we go to the I think what was it three point uh, point three four and then we go up to the point four two and that's how you do that with simplify 3d so I really like this another neat thing about this is you can change the infill you can change your temperatures you can change anything you want in layers by just changing your processes over here the only thing you can't do unless you have multiple extruder heads is change the width of the uh, extruder so if you did have multiple print heads you could in theory tell it to use one print head for a certain part of the build and then another print head for another part of the build okay so I hope that helps you all kind of understand this I uh, absolutely you do have to purchase this it's not a free program but it's a kick-ass program and um, uh, that's the nice little update I wanted to give you just on how cool it is to do the layers so I can't think of anything else um, that would be a good tip right now that was the one that I used 99% of the time I print so that's it everybody keep all the emails coming thanks for uh, uh, all your support and um, all the awesome emails I really appreciate it have a great day everybody and be safe bye bye